What's up everyone? Welcome to Ola Testing Shit. Today I'm trying out the Bad Cat Lynx amplifier. I'm actually sort of excited because this is not the first time I've tried a Bad Cat amplifier. Back in the early 2000s, there was one Swedish distributor here in Sweden that was carrying Bad Cat amplifiers. And, you know, I think it was just when uh, Bad Cat became a thing a little bit. And I remember playing one and, you know, they're boutique amplifiers with an enormous headroom and uh, it just didn't do metal. But I did try one back in the day and they sounded really good, really good. Now, the Lynx is a metal amplifier from Bad Cat, so, you know, that has me a little bit excited. I, I can't deny it. It's 50 watt tube, you have two channels, you have a line out effects loop, you know, pretty standard for a regular amplifier, I would say. For this demo, I'm using this Solar Type X uh, C1.6 going into the Bad Cat right there. Uh, no effects, no extra pedals or anything. That goes into my Mesa oversized cabinet and this is a SE Audio Voodoo 2 microphone. I also have a stereo microphone up there. And this is the Bad Cat Lynx. <laughs> We're on channel 1 right now. Calm down, we'll, we'll, we're gonna play mail, okay? Calm down, this is just the first tone I'm getting. So you can basically go clean. Just raise the volume. Or you go the other way around and just gain it up. Dial down the volume a little bit. And that dirty tone right there is... It's just... You know? Very rich sounding, I must say. Okay, gain at max. Note that we are on low right now. There's a high and a low, but we're still on channel one too. Let's go to high, see what happens. That sounds f***ing incredible. I hope you can hear this. <laughs> That's such a rich ass sound right there. That's the presence I'm down right there, or in other terms, the richness. How rich do you want to be? Dial up the presence, baby. That's a little bit too much money right there. Let's go back right here. Good and chugging, man. All right, let's go to channel two. That's where the high gain is at. Oh, I forgot to mention, it also has a noise gate, which is on right now. Let's put them both at the same gain. I want to hear the difference between channel one and two. Okay, so channel one. Channel two. All right, channel two has more gain. What? I really like that, but I, I want to try just push it a slight, slight bit more. I bet it would be perfect, like if you add a small little tube screamer on there. Give me a second, okay? All right, I brought out a tube screamo right there, the TS9, and I'm just gonna push it a slight, slight bit, okay? Oh shit. Uh, let's see how that sounds. Let's turn down the game a little bit. That is no sound. What did I do wrong? Oh, the cable is not in. Let's try this. <laughs> Holy 
Holy shit face, man. Okay. Dialing down the volume a little bit on the boost, just, you know, to tighten it up a little bit. Okay, let me crank this. I'm gonna be completely honest, I haven't been this happy about playing a new amplifier in a very very long time. It's not that often that I get impressed and you know by new amplifiers. I've tried so many amplifiers and, and this... Dude, I have to buy one of these. How much is it? I hope it's not expensive. <laughs> this could have been a really badly sponsored video where I go like, Hey! Oh, it's amazing! You should buy one! But uh, I actually, I'm actually serious, I wanna buy one. Here we go, it's... Okay, it's... yeah. 2200 euros. That is expensive. But it sounds incredible. If there will be something to complain about in regards to this amplifier, but I, I, I'm very happy with how it is because it has its own character. It would be that it sounds slightly, slightly scooped. I was thinking at first, maybe, you know, I matched the cabinet. Uh, this one has uh, vintage 30 speakers in it, and maybe it was a wrong match with the cabinet. So I checked on the website, but apparently the Lynx cabinet also has vintage 30 speakers in it. So not sure about uh, that uh, match right there. <laughs> But it feels like something has been cut a little bit too much. Uh, and I feel like the more I bring out the mids, you know, I kind of need to have mids at high. And that little cut probably helps with that throatiness and that throaty sound, which is just almost like half magical or something like that. Anyways. Holy shit, that makes me so happy. It's not very often that I get impressed like this, but I was impressed. Good job, bad cat. So if you like my demo, maybe consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. OldAnglandShop.com, we have merch. Not this, because this is just a black t-shirt, but you can get a black t-shirt with a print on it. It supports me, you know? Thank you so much for watching, goodbye.